All right, so first question I've got to figure out is what's going wrong with this door? Why is it one dimensional? So control U, grab source, and uh, here's the door right here. This looks comprehensible. Turns out the door is flat because I'm using position instead of length. This Z should be an L. Okay, there, that looks okay. That's like a house, and it looks fine from the distance. So once again, I should try and break this down to get to the simplest possible components. All right, this is five polygons, so uh, this seems like the simplest I can get this down to. So what's going wrong, I guess, is that it thinks that the floor should be in front of the door bottom here. But really, these two polygons are kind of ambivalent to each other. So it really shouldn't matter which one is in front of the other one. Right, okay, we're checking, are they all on the same side of the plane? If they are, return a 1. If they're on different sides of the plane, return negative 1, else you return a 0. So essentially what's going on is we're taking the plane of the bottom of the door right here, and then we're checking to see all of the points of the floor, are they all on the same side of the door plane? Because the bottom of the door and the floor are both at the same height, they all should be coplanar. When we go and return at the bottom here, we should be returning a zero, but we're actually returning a one. Because a one means it's on one side, the negative one means it's on another side. The zero means that it's inconclusive, so don't do anything. You know what, can I change this slightly? Um, can I have a new return value? Can I return I don't, a negative two? <laughs> The difference between zero and negative two being zero continues with checks while negative two moves on to the next polygon. That accounts for the new return value that I have. Now, does that fix the issue? Seemingly it did, at least in this one instance. So let me uncomment out more boxes and see if it, if it still hates me. And okay, we have the full how, uh, oh, we're so, oh, no. All right, the roof hates me now. Look at this stupid roof. Let's see if this issue still happens without the door. Yeah, the issue still happens without the door. Okay, yeah, it still happens here. Well, what else can I get rid of? Okay, when I'm down to three polygons, things work fine. Things work at four polygons. Okay, okay, I'm getting the issue now. So it's weird because it's, I have to go way back here to get it to happen. But then the roof just starts overlapping and it's like, what, why, is that, why is that happening? So in this case, because the four is the first in the array, that means that it's the roof is being drawn over everything else. Four against three? Three is the front arch and four is the roof. Apparently they end up being ag agnostic to each other. That doesn't make any sense to me. Am I in the right spot? They are not coplanar at all. The back roof and front wall aren't even near each other. But why are the coefficients all zeros? 0x zero plus 0y zero plus 0z? Zero that just seems like it's not calculated. What in the math is happening? The roof is a triangle, and perhaps the reason why I'm getting an error is because one of the sides is actually of length 0. When you try to compare two of these lines against each other, you end up getting the same line, and that doesn't make a plane. This is our roof. The roof is a triangle. Triangles have three points, but the polygons, when they're being defined, have four points. And so in order to draw a triangle, I'm putting two points right in the same spot. So there's two points here, while this is one point and this is one point. Now, in order to find the equation of a plane, what you need is two vectors that are on the plane. And as long as they're different, you can figure out the equation of that plane. But if you have two vectors that both go to the same point, then you no longer have two vectors. You just have a line. You have a plane that could go through any point. In this example here, this would be our zero point. This would be our one point and this would be our two point. So one and two are at the same point. And the way that I'm doing it is you have a zero one and a zero two. But in this case, zero one and zero two are both the same line. Okay, so this line would check to see if points zero and one are the same. And I could do the same thing with one and two. If zero and one are the same, well then one now has to be three, I think. So if zero and one were both on the same point, You'd go to 0 and 2 still, but then you'd have to go to 0 and 3, and 1 would be eliminated. Now in the case where 1 and 2 are the same, we'd still have 0 to 1 in this case, but since 0 to 2 are the same, we change 2 to be 3, right? So 2 is now 3. Uh, what if 0 and 2 are the same? Well, how would that even happen? 0 and 2 can't be the same. 
because that'd be like it goes forward and then back and then over here. That's just like a V shape. That's not that's not real. So I guess actually there's only two different possibilities here. Okay, that's less computation. And hopefully that'll give us A, B, and C coordinates that actually are different from each other. All right, great. Looks like it's rendering correctly now. Okay, all right, that's better. No obvious issues. The only real problem here is this doorknob, right? The doorknob's peeking through here. Okay, the door also exhibits the same problem. Let's try and get rid of as much stuff as possible again. I'm down to a three polygon scenario here where I'm still getting it to break on me. It's basically a rock, paper, scissors scenario. We're getting first that the roof should be in front of the wall, then the door should be in front of the roof, and then later when we need the wall to be in front of the door, well, that's impossible. So I, I wouldn't kind of graft a little bit what's happening here. So P is the player. Uh, this door is the door. The plane here is supposed to be the roof. It's upside down. So I guess from this picture, we are seeing that the roof is closer than the wall. The only thing is the roof is not even on screen right now. It doesn't even overlap with any of these issues. The roof is way up here. Why should it even matter? Why should it even factor into what's going on right now? Like we're not looking toward the roof. So like that's what confuses me here. Um, this might seem like a silly solution. Uh, but what if I swapped the order I did the plane tests in? So what if I moved this block of code down here? So yeah, okay, so for this instance, because I swapped the order that fixed it. Okay, so now I'm drawing the whole house and uh, okay, yeah, we're still having problems. It does look less buggy now overall, but it's not, it doesn't seem as bad as it was before. Let me try to reduce things down again. Okay, so right now this is just four polygons, two faces of the doorknob and two faces of the door. But when I go right over here, the two faces of the doorknob appear on top of the door. So I thought this was a sorting problem, but I'm down to two polygons and I can make the doorknob phase through the door. So apparently in this case, the max dist is less than poly j's min dist. Okay, what's poly i? It thinks that the knob is 76 units away and the door is 78 units away. So it incorrectly assumes that the knob is closer than the door. Where do I calculate min and max distance again? Right, so up here I say this dot min dist minus equals the sagitta, where, I don't know, I do some weird math to calculate that. Uh, the sagitta being, as a reminder, the distance of the line in blue there. Or in other words, the distance from the midpoint of a chord to the circle's edge. This just makes me wonder if I did the sagitta's calculation wrong. I kind of want to rethink the whole sagitta thing. So here's a two-dimensional version of this problem. This green circle is the player, this brown line is the door, this yellow line is the doorknob. And the issue is that the minimum distance to either of the lines of the doorknob is shorter than the minimum distance to either line of the door. Thus, as a result, we don't even compare these two polygons against each other. To fix that, you'd want to find the point on the polygon in which it's closest to the player. In two dimensions, this isn't too hard. Find the slope of this line, take its reciprocal to draw a perpendicular line that goes through the player, and then where they intersect, is the closest point. Now in three dimensions, it should be the same principle, I think, but it is more complicated. And this is the same math as before, but I kind of forgot it myself. So let me just go over it again. So the brown line here is the polygon that's associated with the plane of the door. So the equation for the plane is represented as such, ax plus by plus cz equals d. And conveniently, the vector of the line that's perpendicular to the plane is just abc. So then the equation of the green line, which is perpendicular to the door, is the player's position plus t times the vector. t is the variable here, and we know everything else, or we should know it. I think we might have to calculate abc. This is doing some mathematical rearranging or whatever to find out t. Once you have t, you plug that into this linear equation here, and that will give you the intersection point. All this other stuff here, I'm now commenting this all out. Now, before compute plane of coefficient was a function that could 
be taking place later, but now we need those a, b, and c coefficients. I'm just gonna call that function. And that'll set the a, b's, and c's, so we'll have those. Now I just need to find the intersection. Do I have that already? Do I have a function for that already? Get intersection point. Oh wait, I don't have to figure this out again. I can just plug it into the function that I already wrote and forgot that I did. Wait a minute, I don't have two points though, that's the issue. I have one point being the player. I mean, theoretically, it's not exactly that difficult to come up with another point. It could basically be anywhere. So I plug in the plane coefficients, which is just an array of A, B, C, D. One of the points is the player, which is X, Y, Z. And I think the other point can just be adding the A, B, and C coefficients to the X, Y, and Z values because that would be like having a parametric of one and I can just use anything for the other point. That should give us that should give us an intersection point. And then do I have a distance between points function? Okay, yeah, I do. It's called dist between points because it has to be abbreviated, obviously. How do you remember the functions that you wrote? So now that I have the intersection point, I find the distance between the player's points and the intersection point. And then that would be our minimum distance completely different from before. The whole idea of the Sagitt is gone. This dot compute plane coefficient is not a function because I haven't declared it yet. I gotta move the whole function up to the top here. That way it's declared first. So this is the equation of the door. Let me go just look at this. This plane here is the plane of the door. Then we could put in the player. Okay, so there's the player, there's the door. And this is what it tells me is the intersection point. So when you look at it, I is the closest point of the plane. So that looks about right. What is our this.mindist? And it comes out to 63.3 repeating. Does this do distance calculations? Oh yeah, distance or length. So let's measure the distance Yes, yeah, 63.33. So that's the right number. Great. So does this work now? Uh yeah, looks like it. I'm not it's not popping through like before. If I go over to the side, yeah. It looks functional now. And uh, okay, it's still not totally functional. Um, it still s seems better than before though. But yeah, okay. The doorknob is popping through right here. And uh, the arch part of the door is popping through at some points. So you think the house without the door has like no problems. Okay, does this simple scenario of four polygons have any issues? Not really. How about six polygons? Am I getting any issues with six polygons? Still not getting any problems. Okay, there's an issue right here. This very specific spot. Now, can I get rid of those back walls? Because they're maybe they're not doing anything. Yeah, okay, good. So how many polygons is this now? One, two, three, four, five, six. This is six polygons. Six polygons seems like the minimum that I can get this bug to occur in this way. So it's uh, arch, roof, door, door, handle, handle. The polygon that's clipping is polygon five. The, the, the thing that's incorrect is that five right now is before two. So five is in the array before two, thus five is being drawn on top of two. Oh wait, did I use the wrong p-test variable here? Yeah, this should be a j and not an i. Does that fix it? Oh yeah, look at that, it fixed it. Well, let me add everything back in again. Ugh. Just uncomment out all these lines. Oh my god. Is it working? Am I getting any weird errors? Oh, this this is promising. There's no way this actually functions. Let me add in the pillars too. Okay, nope, nope. Still break sometimes. Yep, nope, doesn't work. I was so excited too. No, but it's, it's still very broken. Oh wow, look how bad that looks. Whoa. All right, that's, that's bad. That's awful. It just doesn't even know how to sort these at all. There's so many polygons that it's difficult for me to try and figure out exactly why this is happening. I mean, how do you even debug this? Uh, 